Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Gemini. How's everyone? Hope you're well. Thanks for dropping in. Before I get started, I want to let you know on Monday I will have the completely single readings out so you can check out my playlist. There may be messages there for you single Geminis. All right, Gemini. Overall energy surrounding you in your love life. Overall energy surrounding Gemini. It wants to come out in this one first. Ah, angel of love. Justice. Ooh, someone may have captured your heart. You're definitely thinking of love. Yeah, there is definitely something here. <laughs> someone here is definitely seeing you as just right. There's something here to do with balance. But I'm wondering here, if you have somebody here where you may not be too sure how you feel about them, okay? Man holding a heart, angel of love, and justice. Some Libra energy, possibly. All right, Gemini, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Gemini viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Gemini. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Options, possibilities. Okay. So it looks as though you have someone here. I feel as though there's someone here who has some kind of regrets. Maybe they treated you like an option or they were a bit confused, didn't see the possibilities of being with you. So I feel this person is about to come towards you. They're offering you something. They want to either make something right. Uh, they want to get to know you more. This could be someone who's just a little bit of uh, a little stressed out as well, whether you feel the same way. Okay, so yeah, so I feel there's someone here who wants to make something right. They want to go, but or they just want to go about things the right way, make sure that you're the right person, that you balance each other out. But I do see the possibilities, the options with the Seven of Cups. Someone's making a decision here, but I do think they may have, maybe they picked the wrong person, they made a bad choice, a bad decision, and they're regretting it. So we have that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so you definitely have someone who's trapped in their head. We have justice, there you go, confirmation, Libra energy, justice and balance, yeah. So you have someone who's, who's trapped in their head, and I feel this person is someone who's kind of, I feel like there's somebody who, a little bit slow moving, slow to make choices, decisions, that could be all they're worried about. They're slow to make a choice. And I feel as though this person is definitely in their head to do with balance and justice. This is someone who's coming back around towards you. They're going to come in very quickly. There's some kind of an epiphany with this tower. Uh, could be an Aries energy with the tower. Mars energy could be Scorpio. It really could be anyone. Yeah, this is somebody who is trapped in their head. And I feel this is someone who has a habit of maybe they were trapped in a relationship, a commitment. Or this is someone who keeps um, repeating the same problem, the same thing over and over again. And they're having an epiphany. Something is coming to an end here. So someone may be having an epiphany. They've gotten themselves trapped in a relationship that's not right for them. They may be coming towards you to talk to you. Okay. Wow. Justice. There's definitely some Libra energy here. Yeah, there you are, Gemini. Yeah, you definitely have some questions. You're think, you may be also thinking about this person, but there's something that you may be wanting to know, to learn. Uh, there's a need for some kind of justice. Ooh, Gemini. Gemini, Libra energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. An epiphany, Tower. Yeah, there's something coming to an end. Somebody's got themselves trapped into something. They may be having an epiphany, okay? Or there may be a, a relationship or marriage that's ending. And I feel, yeah, there's definitely something. You're looking for some answers. You want to know the truth. Maybe this is the situation. You want to know the truth. You're trying to maybe figure something out here to do with this foundation. I think you've got someone here, a man holding a heart. <laughs> Yeah, so there is some kind of emotional fulfillment. This is what you want. You speak the truth. This could be somebody you see yourself with and you want to know the truth, okay? I feel like you see it. You know it. You're being very wise here. You definitely have a lot of questions. You're being very discerning. 
uh, with somebody, okay? You're speaking up and speaking your truth. There is a need for some kind of clarity. Maybe you want to know what someone's intentions are and they come towards you, but you want this emotional fulfillment. You want this four of wands commitment. And I feel like you have someone here who's sort of taking their time. Yeah, they're a little worried. They maybe have some regrets for a decision. Maybe they picked the wrong person. So someone who... I feel as this is someone who keeps sort of making the wrong choices, the wrong decisions over and over again. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is this here for Gemini? Seven of Cups energy. What is going on, Gemini? Seven of Cups energy. There we go. Yeah, so there is definitely some kind of clarity. So somebody is now very clear. So this could be a new person for some of you. But I feel as though what you have is someone who's becoming very clear. They want to come in. Something is being exposed, okay? A new beginning. Uh, maybe someone's worried you're going to choose someone else. You may have other options. They may have some kind of regrets. Could be a new person who's a little stressed and worried about reaching out, whether you're the right person, how to go about it, how to communicate. Because this is someone who generally plans for success. Somebody who takes their time, they look carefully at all the details. It's a communication, though. They're very cautious about what they have to say. So we have some Libra, or Aquarius energy. Yeah, so I feel as though there's someone here who's letting go of something. They're becoming very clear. They want to start something new. So this is about purging and releasing. Someone values you. They realize it. They regret something. Not seeing your worth, seeing your value. Maybe this person was a bit confused. or they. I feel like they chose wrong, but they're letting go of something because of this clarity. I feel like you know them, but it is possible this is their energy uh, where they're trapped in a situation, okay, and it's going to come to an end with this epiphany. Uh, they could be reaching out to you. So, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something is ending, something is transforming. Scorpio energy, yeah, there's that wish come true. So I feel there's, yeah, you may be hoping and dreaming. Maybe you... You know, you're trapped in your head thinking about somebody who's in this kind of energy. They keep repeating the same uh, problem, the same issue, and there's something coming to an end, a tower. So I feel like this ending is something that you're wishing for. You're holding on to this person. You may be in love with this person, okay? And you're hoping that they finally um, put an end to something here. I feel like it's a bad marriage or a situation they're trapped in. Something's about to happen, yeah. You're maybe waiting for the tower to come down. You may know this person uh, with this uh, ending, this transformation. I feel like you got somebody definitely headed your way. They, This is doing things right, saying the right thing. I mean, it could be yourself as well. If you have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, uh, there's something to do with healing and purging uh, something, a pattern. Uh, to have a new beginning. There's a need for that truth and that clarity. Everything needs to be illuminated. So, wow, yeah. So there's someone trapped in a bad relationship, a marriage. I feel you're waiting for this to end. This is your hopes and dreams for this to end, for this person to come around and reach out. You're definitely holding on to this person. They've got your heart. Okay, so I can see this energy. You know, this person definitely is trapped in a bad relationship. And I do feel as though you're thinking of this person a lot. They may be thinking about you as well to do with justice and balance. This is somebody who sees you as just right. They're having this epiphany. And I feel, though, that they do need to end something else that they're trapped in to have this new beginning, this fresh new start. So it looks like it may be ending. Difficult to say for sure. Let's have a look. We have justice. Justice. Why is justice here? There we go. Yeah. So there's somebody here. Definitely. Uh, this is somebody who, who's reflecting on something. This is somebody who's never probably told you how they feel about you. They kind of held back something. This is somebody who's reflecting, shining a light on a situation that they're trapped in. Yeah. There's a lack of clarity. So I feel this person is possibly, it almost looks like they're reflecting on their own energy. There's a need for some kind of heart-to-heart -heart communication. This is someone who likely never told you you were just right. Uh, they're definitely thinking about you, thinking about themselves, reflecting on if they are trapped in a relationship, 
Or there's someone who's afraid of being trapped in relationships. They're reflecting on that, shining a light on it. They may be someone who uh, kind of has held back, maybe not told you everything. But I feel because of the way the card is, is this is somebody who's uh, definitely held back something that they're shining a light on. I do feel like it's possibly to do with themselves. I they definitely feel like they're a very strong Libra. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Uh, yeah, so there is someone here who's definitely, uh, there's something here that's not working, not good enough. I feel this person's a little emotionally drained. They're up in their head. Something's not working. Something's not right. This person may feel they've missed an opportunity with you. Okay. Yeah, someone's missed an opportunity. I feel they made a bad choice, a bad decision. Maybe this person took a long time to communicate with you, but I, I see you uh, definitely waiting for this transformation, this ending. This is your hopes and dreams um, for this person to get out of this situation by the looks of it for most of you. I'll pick out another scenario if I see it, but I feel this is a very direct communication for someone who's in this energy. You want the truth, nothing but the truth. Uh, you're you're also being very wise very smart here gemini about justice about doing things right okay yeah you see this person is the right person for you you could bring a lot of balance into their life and i feel this person is definitely someone who keeps repeating the same thing over they keep you know getting caught in situations and uh but now they're doing a lot of thinking uh, they may not have told you the whole truth or there's a lack of communication or clarity. So yeah, there is this energy of success. Yeah, some sad energy. Yeah, you're there's something here about this person. Uh, this is about moving forward, setting themselves free from a situation. Yeah, to move forward successfully with yourself. This is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for that truth. Yeah, there's something here. You may have worked with this person in the past. I feel that you're working very hard on something here. It's something you're working on is very successful. Uh, this person probably is very successful. I see that star. You value this person. Uh, you care a lot. I can see that energy. And uh, But there is this something to do with this new beginning. This person's making a choice and a decision. I feel like they made a bad choice, a bad decision. You're aware of it. We have that. Oh. You want success. I feel this person is like, yeah, you want to know the truth that this person set themselves free. Uh, what they're working on, what they're doing, if they're working on it. You want to know if they are putting in effort, if things are working out. Yeah, I'm sitting at the crossroads here waiting for some kind of news, communication. Uh, this is all also about the path, the approach, the path that this person's on. You see this person as the one. I can see it. You're holding on here, kind of waiting, trying to make this choice whether you should put any effort into this, put any more work into it, mental work. Okay, you may be thinking a lot about it. You may be thinking of setting yourself free <clears throat> because you're waiting for this. And I feel like you're a little emotionally drained, kind of tired. You're not really sure. Okay, you may be having a bit of an epiphany. Maybe this person rejected you for somebody else and they're now regretting it. Because I do see some wishful thinking. You're hoping to get your wish granted, okay, to hear from this person. Wow. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you want that emotional fulfillment. So I do feel like there's something that needs to be figured out here. What makes you happy? You're trying to figure out if this person is happy, emotional, fulfilled, content. You're trying to figure out if this person's coming towards you. Uh, there's something here. It's also telling you be careful about being a fixer, okay? Uh, like you, I feel as though... Maybe you're, I, I see so many scenarios because I see a little bit of ego here. I see this setting yourself free, not working on this, but this is this person setting themselves free, uh, coming towards you to work things out with you and you're waiting for this. This is your person. This is the one, right? This is the person you want to marry, you want to be with. There's some kind of foundation maybe some kind of history between the two of you, and you're trying to figure out if they're happy. Uh, but this is also an energy of somebody who's trying to fix something. So be careful about that energy. Make sure you're getting what you want and what you need out of this. 
So I feel like you're up in your head, but I think this person's trying to figure something out about themselves, how they feel, if they're happy. Uh, this person's definitely thinking about you. I can see this energy, like there's someone here who's definitely some kind of confusion about a choice and the choice they made, this epiphany. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? You may be thinking it's time to release this person and to move forward towards someone new. You may have a new person here who has feelings for you. You may not be sure they're right because you're still kind of, I uh, feel, trapped in an energy, possibly some of you with another person. You're not so sure this person's right. You're trying to figure out your feelings, if they'll make you happy, if this will give you the emotional contentment. Because you're sitting on the fence. You might have a choice between two. Okay, and I can see that energy here for some of you. So there is this truth, yeah. So there is some kind of an epiphany truth. Uh, this is about um, success. Yeah, something is becoming very clear here. Maybe you feel this person didn't hold you in high regard. Some of you, okay, that's a scenario where you're releasing this and putting an end to it. You're going after something else. You want your hopes and dreams. Your hopes and dreams are to be married, to have a fresh new start. But you got this person looking. Maybe this person's wondering if you have, okay, if you're in another relationship, if you're committed. I feel they could be a little emotionally drained. And both of you are definitely in each other's thoughts with this energy in the middle. Tell me about the angel of love. For Gemini. Why is the angel of love here for Gemini? Yes, yeah, you definitely want love. You are very open to love, okay? But you want to be treated properly. You want someone to see your worth and your value. I actually feel like there's someone here who does. I feel like this person did, in fact. Um, you know, but the situation may be out of reach. Maybe this you feel this person's out of your league or vice versa. It could be to do with this person and this new person who's coming in. There's something happening here. You may have a couple of options. You may be thinking of releasing someone and starting something new. Little aha moment. It's time to let go of someone. Maybe you've been waiting for someone uh, to leave a situation and come towards you and it's kind of not happening. And you're in your head thinking a lot about this person. But this is someone definitely who gets himself trapped in it's like they're trapped in a bad marriage and it's not i feel almost or a bad relationship or commitment and it's like they keep doing it okay yeah tell me about contracts so there's definitely that energy but i do feel you're thinking of setting yourself free but you want to know something here and i feel as though you're trying to be very wise uh, before you make on any kind of a decision Tell me about contract for Gemini. There we go. Yeah. Safety, security, stability. Yes, definitely. Yeah, you want that. Like you want someone stable, someone you can rely on, someone who's financially stable. You want that balance. You are somebody who would have this person's back. In fact, it's showing me here you'd be a good partner for anybody, right? Anyone who fits for you that you feel is just right. And this is what you want. You want that person, someone who's just right, someone who has your back. Yeah, someone who's financially stable, reliable, uh, someone with a very solid foundation. Someone actually sees you that way. Someone sees you as that empress energy. And I feel like you are sort of, there's something you're holding on to do, someone that you love. Uh, you're thinking of letting go, okay? But yeah, you're, that hopes and dreams, like you're being careful what you wish for, that this will end. Uh, I feel as though it's sort of an energy of sort of sitting on the fence, trying to choose the path, which way to go. Because you do want marriage. You want some kind of commitment. You're ready to be happy. So some of you are definitely, you know, holding on to this person who was either married or maybe they're telling you they're in a trapped marriage and they're not telling you the truth. You just don't know. And you're in your head a lot. So I feel a lot of you are just moving on here. For the most part, I feel some of you are definitely trying to figure out what's going to make you happy. And you know too, right, if you put all the cups on the table, and uh, this is figuring out, you know, don't try to fix something here. And I feel as though this is an energy of, you got a person here who's got their, there's someone here who has feelings for you. Now, either you're not aware of this person, or they're ready to end something and come towards you, or you're leaving somebody uh, who you've been holding on to who's in a relationship, and uh, you've been thinking a lot. They kind of got you trapped. It's like they're in a relationship telling you they're trapped in something and they want to have this new beginning. And now you're just not sure. Okay. And I do feel like it's 
sort of telling you to see the truth. Uh, maybe ask questions, be very discerning. It's time to set yourself free. Maybe not put any more work into this, but because of this wishful thinking, there's that energy of maybe this person will set themselves free and come towards you. So there's that choice, that decision. Man holding a heart. There we go. Yeah, so there is definitely a situation here. Yeah, you've got someone here who kind of feels like there's no hope. So I do feel like you have a little bit of a broken heart here. And yeah, there's a, and it could be a little bit of fear. You may have somebody who wants to come towards you and open up. They're trying to figure out if you feel the same. They may be afraid of being hurt. Maybe this is somebody who knows that you've been hurt. But I see you ready to offer love, ready to offer that cup of love. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, there's someone here, you know, this is that cup half full. But I feel there's someone here who feels no, there's no hope that you will care for them because maybe they know you're attached to someone else. It could go either way. Yeah, you are ready for love though. And I feel as though this is where you turn your back on that uh, heartache and hurt, feeling like there's no hope and ready to offer love to someone else. You've had a very tough time in love. You are very discerning. You're definitely not afraid to ask the questions, but you may be feeling it's time to just cut this person out. They are definitely... Uh, someone who has a bit of an ego, they get a lot of attention. Maybe it's because of what they do for work, that kind of thing. Uh, they may be very popular, you know, people really hold this person in high regard. But I see some kind of regret and remorse, and I feel like some of you are just kind of sad, um, you know, possibly uh, going through this purging and releasing, and it's not easy. Okay, so there is this decision that you're making. I do think you're very lovable. You're very nurturing and very caring. You really need some of that, but it needs to be reciprocated. And if they're not reciprocating, you're not into it. But look at this. You've got somebody here who definitely uh, has feelings for you. And I feel like there's someone here who's trying to figure out if you uh, care for them. Okay, they have a little fear that, you know, that there's no hope that you aren't going to offer that love or feel the same. Wow crossroads gemini tell me about this star why is this here why is the star here yeah so you are thinking about walking away because you want that emotional fulfillment but it's that be careful what you wish for you're hoping for something to end you're hoping for this transformation you're open to it you have a love for someone here who's in a, either in another relationship or they have a fear of sharing their feelings for some of you or they're not so sure they want to be in a relationship. They feel trapped maybe when they're in a relationship. They just like to be free. They may be not telling you everything, okay? Or you've got someone who is in a relationship and they're not telling you the truth or they're lying, okay? So the epiphany is that you're just emotionally drained. The tower is coming down. Oh, Gemini. Yeah, so there you are. Yeah, you're reflecting on this and it's, it's telling you with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, if you have that in your chart or not, it's telling you to sit down and be practical. Reflect on this past, be grounded. Uh, it's time to kind of get serious, be sensible. Uh, about the future. You want someone who makes you feel safe. There's something that you're not feeling quite right about. And man, this person, I'm going to tell you, you're definitely marriage material for somebody here. Someone definitely sees you as this empress. And I feel like it's time for you to uh, heal and release something and let it go and to be open to something else, maybe other options, other people, you know, to open yourself up to love. Yeah, you're reflecting on something from the past here and it's, uh, you're just not sure. You're a little tired, a little drained. Um, you're having an epiphany about this person but yeah i i'm gonna be honest though whoever this is they would definitely see you or do see you as marriage material but they're something that they're not telling you you're not getting the clear communication this is also about being honest with yourself as well doing the right thing what's right for you if you feel safe and comfortable if someone makes you feel secure right that justice balance marriage you want that and i feel like you're very deserving of it uh, you're very loving and nurturing, and I feel like so you need that reciprocated. You're definitely, uh, it's like you're turning your back on something painful, some kind of heartache, and you feel like it's hopeless, okay, to find that Two of Cups. That's that other Two of Cups from that 
you know, walking away, eight of cups, nine of cups, ten of cups. You are on the way to that, but it's about being open, healing and re releasing, uh, letting yourself uh, be open to other possibilities. So there you are, yeah. You are marriage material. You definitely take care of yourself, your house, your home, uh, your money. You're very balanced. You're very reliable. You're definitely somebody who would have someone's back. Yeah, somebody may want you back here. It's possible, but... I don't know like I kind of feel as though it's telling you to just be a little cautious to sort of take the time to figure things out what really makes you happy will this person actually make you happy but I feel like it's this new person coming in you're there's something going to happen very quickly someone sees the possibilities with you where this is just you realizing it's time to start something new and walk away and release somebody okay it, i see a lot of scenarios for different people yeah walking away from somebody here taurus virgo capricorn we have a power couple here most definitely there's someone here who's uh, definitely possibly very well known for what they do. They're financially stable. This is someone you hold in very high regard. This is someone who's very slow moving, very focused on their money and their finances. They very well could be ending something, but they're a little cautious about what they wish for as well. And I can see that person here. This is someone who's looking into the future. I think this person's having some epiphanies, I do, about what they've got themselves trapped into. And they could be thinking about you, coming towards you, talking to you, reaching out. It's very slow moving energy though. Like I, I feel as though you're open to it, but you're being a little cautious right now about whatever it is that's ending and transforming. So there's this healing and releasing. Okay, so there's someone here who's been holding back and doing a lot of thinking. This person needs to heal and it's a very slow process. Yeah, and I feel like you are open to this. You, you know, but be careful of this fixer energy where you feel you can fix somebody. Make sure that you fix, make sure this person, right, that they are someone who will make you happy as well. You need it to be reciprocated. And I feel there's a lack of reciprocity or you've got somebody here who's, you know, you're kind of waiting for or hoping for. And you're feeling a little bit rejected. And it's definitely making you feel like there's something that's just not good enough. Oh my goodness, Gemini. Yeah, I see you ready to open up to somebody. I think you're ready for love. Someone sees you as very lovable, very adorable. Maybe they feel there's no hope that you'll reciprocate and feel that way with them. I do feel you're probably aware of this person. Uh, but you're not so sure if they're the right person for you because you are focused on this other person. So you have a decision to make by the looks of it here. Oh my goodness. Tell me about this Prince of Swords for Gemini. We'll wrap this up. Uh, there's some kind of conflict competition. Yeah, there's some obstacles here, some challenges. Feel this person gets a lot of attention definitely gets a lot of attention they're very attractive yeah so this person is definitely yeah this is your person this is the one though but i feel like there's something here about this person i do feel they have an ego i do feel uh, they're successful well known very popular in their neighborhood or you know in the community and i feel as though this is someone who definitely has a lot of people competing for their attention but so there's some kind of obstacles that you're waiting here for you're looking at but you're i feel as though you're grounding yourself i do feel like you are definitely there's something you're not so sure about with this person like there's something changing here i feel within yourself I feel as though it's like an energy of like this person will always kind of have your heart, but it's kind of like time to let go. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, it's time to reflect on the past and let go. Look over your shoulder and go off and have a new beginning. Okay, with somebody else. And I feel like you're ready to take a leap <laughs> into something as you, yeah, it's putting the past in the past and moving forward, going off on a new path. So let's see what the outcome of this is, Gemini. What is the outcome of this situation with this Queen of Cups here? I'm going to go on this card. What is the outcome? Yeah, you are ready for love. You're leaving. You're turning your back on this cup half full, this sadness. Okay, remorse and regret. Because that's what you're worried. I feel like you're worried that if you move on this new path with this other person, 
that you may regret it in the future if this person does end their situation because they really this this is your person this is the person who has your heart and you're afraid to let go of this yeah so oh, queen of cups there we go yeah so you are thinking of exploring other possibilities spirits telling you explore some other possibilities okay because but you are looking at as possible like the whole whatever is happening you're looking at all the scenarios that they may if you move on to someone else and get into a relationship or a commitment this person may end their marriage and you're going to feel like you're going to miss an opportunity you don't want to miss an opportunity with this person okay and that's what i feel so I do feel that there is other possibilities for you to explore. And there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Okay, so Spirit's guiding you to at least check out other possibilities. Be strong and be brave. Be confident. Okay, you are a lot stronger than you think you are. Okay, and to be very brave. But I feel as though there is a need for this confidence okay about these other possibilities i think you have someone here you i do feel like there is a person here and you're trying to figure out if there's someone who will make you happy and they're trying to figure out kind of how to make you happy all right as well they're a little afraid of being hurt as well i think this person knows you've been hurt though um they it's like they they're trying to figure something out here okay let's see this angel of strength so be strong and be brave and uh, to let go of something at least for now yeah something that you're attached to and it's time to let go of some unhealthy attachment okay and uh, or you're just seeing it that way and you're going through that process what is the outcome where is Gemini headed yeah angel of balance balancing your head over your heart finding that balance within yourself you need someone who balances you out you want somebody who is a good partner yes there you are yeah the man holding a coin yeah so there is that king and queen of pentacles energy the power couple yeah you really you felt this person was the right person for you but i feel as though now you're just kind of not sure about something you're having epiphanies and there's something here like it's, it's like you're sitting here waiting for someone you're single but they're in another relationship that's what i feel and it's kind of like you're becoming you're not okay with this kind of energy okay so i do see you setting yourself free cutting somebody out or at least thinking about it you want stability and you definitely yeah you want someone who appreciates you so i do feel like you're single yeah and this is the thing it's like you're single and you want to be appreciated you want someone who appreciates you and loves you i actually feel like you could have another taurus virgo capricorn or somebody with that king of pentacles energy who has their heart they you know this is someone who's ready to extend their heart so it's telling you to maybe explore the possibilities with this person they definitely see the possibilities with you they see you as very strong um, definitely they see you as a very strong person very capable and stable so there is some kind of cornucopia here something very beautiful you know, you, you know it's an energy of you want it all but this person sees you as that they see you as this cornucopia so you may if you go out and explore possibilities it is very possible you could find love and be able to turn your back on this but it's a tough decision that crossroads you want marriage you want a foundation you want to have a home a family with somebody you just want to be happy and happy and emotionally fulfilled and i actually think Think this person is you know there there's somebody here who most definitely this is someone who wants to win okay so you've got somebody who wants to win your heart and they know the way to do it is to open up but i feel uh, they could also be at this crossroads making a choice how to make you happy uh, they're trying to figure something out about you but yeah, and I think this is where you have to figure out how, you know, what is going to make you happy. Are you going to just stay and be single um, while this person's in a relationship? While you wait for them to end it? Because they may not be telling you the truth, some of you, or there's just a lack of clarity. So I feel as though it's something, it's time to put, yeah, it's time to put something to an end. Uh, reflecting on this past and to move forward towards something better. Someone who has your back beautiful i see safety security financial stability i see marriage and commitment with someone in the future 
Uh, you may and you may be just going through this in your mind while you're thinking uh, going through this process but yeah there is possibility you've already met the person okay you've already met somebody here you may have met them in the past or you are going to run into someone within your community that is already attracted to you, you they may be checking you out on social media vice versa so lovely energy uh, if you haven't met them, you probably will. If you open up to the idea of love and be strong and brave to explore other possibilities. Someone sees the possibilities with you. There's no doubt they see you as strong and confident and brave. And uh, it's a lovely energy. All right, Scor or Gemini. Why do I want to say Scorpio? I feel there's this person actually could have Scorpio in their chart. They could also be the person who is ending something. And they could be wanting to reach out towards you, but they do value you. They see you as the empress. They need to take a leap of faith. In fact, with the Scorpio energy, they could even be an Aries. A little, I see some Aries energy here. So, wow. Yeah, I see a lot of scenarios here. So just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Whatever is happening, something is about to come to an end. It's over. Um, okay, at least that's what you're thinking of. And you're as you reflect on the past, there's something here that's just not good enough. You're not sure you're kind of tired of all this energy. And yeah, you you just it's basically saying you deserve better and you deserve more. Okay, and that's what spirits trying to tell you you deserve better. So take care. I wish you the best and bye for now.